Oh, hey there. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Volume 4, Power Up, How to Cut Crazy Chicken. We're just about a week away from Christmas. You guys have made it through three episodes already. You're crazy, but I like you, but you're crazy. Everybody say hello to Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. <laughs> Sit pretty. Chickity China. I call him Chickity China for short. But first, we're going to give you a little bit of that information. The whole world eats chicken. If you don't eat chicken, then you're probably one of them baby bat chicken. Go! Chickens are extremely high in protein. Moderate levels of fat, no carbohydrate. Protein is what helps you build strong muscles. You got the guy at the gym that's like, Yo, bro, dude, I had like uh, 400 grams of protein yesterday out of the gym, but I had like a super shake, 75 grams of protein yesterday in a shake. I was lifting and my muscles. I love the raw eggs in the morning. <laughs> you know, I was going to do a pump. Eat up. You're crazy. One of the greatest questions in eternal debates. Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> no. 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 Mm-mm. Nope. No. Mm-mm. No. 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 No, 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 no. Clearly the answer is to get away from that overly aggressive cock. Are you guys ready? But are you really ready? Because we're about to go crazy, super fast. First ever segment, Flash Facts. <laughs> Here we go. Engage right now. There are over 25 billion chickens in the world right now. One chicken has more bones in its neck then a draft. The highest recorded number of yolks in one egg is nine. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> the average heartbeat of a chicken is 300 beats per minute. It's crazy, but a chicken's beak can actually break off. <laughs> Believe it or not, chickens don't pee. It actually comes out in their poop. Ha! <laughs> poop. Chickens actually love to play. Just watch. I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken pig, I'm a chicken! Play with me, little dog. I love to play! Crazy, 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 crazy! Chickens can remember up to a hundred faces, people, or animals. So the next time you're looking to fuck with a chicken, don't, because it will peck your eyes out. Chickens, as a matter of fact, have 30 distinct vocalizations. Chickens lay eggs in colors of blue, pink, brown, green, or white. The only country without chickens is Vatican City. Under U.S. law, they're not classified as livestock or animals. As a matter of fact, they're classified as food. In ancient Greece, sacrificing a cock to Aslepius, the god of blessing, was a way sick people offered a chance for getting wet. Chickens actually contain no peanut. They have a cloaca. That's the exterior of their urinary and digestive tract. They just rub this up against a chick. <laughs> And get her preggies. Boom, 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 boom. A special type of chicken named a bilateral gynandromorph has both the female and male sex components very visibly on either side of the body. The average American eats 80 plus pounds of chicken every year. Chickens slurp grass just like they slurp spaghetti. Damn, Tommy, this grass right here is mighty fine. Chickens have an uncanny ability to still communicate with their unborn chicks in the egg. Chickens are said to be the closest descendant of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The average hen lays somewhere around 300 eggs per year. As a hen gets older, she lays fewer eggs, but they become larger. Caught out a floppy chicken. The largest egg ever recorded was 12 ounces and had two full yolks. Damn, damn. Eight ounces of chicken breast meat contain 12 grams of fat and 44 grams of protein. Whoa! When born, male and female chicks are split. A typical sexer in one of these factories 
would split between 1,000 to 1,500 different chicks in one day. Why are staring at a hoo-hoo? The very first incubator was found about 4,000 years ago in Egypt, and it held somewhere near 10,000 eggs. There's a Chinese zodiac based on the chicken. That actually happens next year in 2017. In Hindu religion, they actually bind a chicken next to a cremation ceremony in hopes that a chicken will tether itself to any negative spirits in the area. In Islam, it's said that when a rooster crows, it's because it's seen an angel. In the wild, a chicken would survive anywhere from 5 to 11 years old. The oldest ever recorded chicken has lived to 22 years old. Chickens are naturally clean creatures. They preen and clean themselves at least once a day. <coughs> the fear of chickens is also known as a lectorophobia. The dance a rooster does is called tidbitting. It's one proud ass chicken, look at it. In Gainesville, Georgia, it is illegal to eat chicken with anything but your fingers. A group of chickens is also known as a flock. A headless chicken can run all the way up to the length of a football field. Damn! In years, Hooter has been said to eat up anywhere 30 million pounds of wings. The longest chicken flight ever recorded was 13 seconds. America alone eats 8 billion chickens every year. The scientific name for a chicken is Gallus Gallus domesticus. It is said that the chicken is a descendant of the red jungle fowl found predominantly in what would be Asia now. Chickens are actually omnivores. They will eat small grains and corn, or they will even eat small mice or insects. A baby chicken is known as a chick. A female is a pullet until she can have eggs while she becomes a hen, and a male chicken is a rooster or a cock. This beautiful thing down here that attracts all the sexy little honeys is called a waddle. If a hen doesn't like what you give her when you, you know what, she can actually eject sperm. <laughs> Chickens were actually the first bird sequence ever genome. Chickens have been found to be domesticated for anywhere up to 10,000 years ago. That was crazy chicken flash facts. In our how-to today, we're going to be showing you how to break down a bird that you would get in the, at the store. Oftentimes in our supermarkets, we find broiler hens. They're on average about five pounds a piece. We're going to break it down into four parts. Legs, thighs, wings, and breasts. Almost every poultry you find can be broken down in a very similar manner. So grab your sharp knives and let's go break down a chicken. Okay. We have a whole chicken here. We're going to show you guys how to break this down. The very first thing you're going to do to your chicken is you're going to reach inside here and there's going to be leftover heart, gizzard, liver. You can remove those. I just have a tray that I'm going to put everything on. Removed all of those. The very next step, step number two, is removing these outer pieces of fat down here. You don't need these. Just excess fat. Those can be removed. No problem. Remember guys, the easiest way to cut your chicken is to keep it as cold as possible while you're cutting it. Okay, so I'm going to turn this up on its side for you guys to see really quick. Okay, we're going to make one slice right here. You see how that splits down? Right there, there's a natural crevice. And I'll show you guys on this side as well. Natural crevice down the bird. Normally, you would only do one for stability of the bird, but that's okay. I'm going to show you guys both. You guys want to get that, that skin cut away. And as you do that, you'll turn your bird... And you can feel this joint down here pop out. Look at that. See how it sticks out right there? You guys can see the joint pop out. So you'll grab this, and you'll cut behind that joint. Okay, guys? So as you can see that, you can feel it back here. You'll cut behind the joint. Okay, come down. You can see where the joint popped out. Cut through that space. Boom. Check that out. You guys have a leg and a thigh. Let me remove that whole cut right there. That's a leg and thigh combination. So you guys can also see it from back here. Same thing, we're gonna remove the leg and the thigh. So you'll take that, you'll remove all of this skin on the interior right here, come back and pop that joint through. See how that just pops through right there? You can see it, that pops right through. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a trick on this side that normally nobody shows you. On these back pieces, there's a thing called an oyster right here. On both sides, on these back muscles, there's an oyster. You can get down and slide your knife up here. See, there's this meat. It's really, really tender meat down here. You can get your knife around. You can slide it down. Be careful with your fingers. All the way around that. And you can cut that oyster out. Look at that. 
That's all that extra meat we didn't get over here, right? That's still left right here. If you cut that oyster off, you can get that little bit of extra meat. You'll make that cut down. Now look where your, your joint is popped. Cut through that space that you created. And then you guys have another cut here. Remove some more of this fat, unnecessary fat. Let me just bring it off to the side, and I'm going to show you guys how to split this. So as you guys can see here, we have the leg and the thigh combination. But we want to get the leg and the thigh split. When you look at it, you'll notice there's a natural line through the thigh and the drum set. See? Let me lift it up for you guys. You can see right there, there's a natural line where there's connective tissue. That's where you know you're going you're gonna to cut down. You can feel it here. You can feel it on your fingers. Make those cuts down here. You'll notice that natural line in there. In that natural line, you'll take your blade and cut through right there, right where that knuckle was. You can see the knuckle on this side. Now you have a drumstick and you have a thigh cut. So one thing I want to show you guys now, something a little extra. Sometimes you can use these thighs to either roll, you can flatten them out. I'm going to show you a quick way to debone it. You'll notice this bone runs down the thigh. Take your knife and cut right down the side of it. Don't cut through, just cut down the side of that bone. And then you'll cut underneath it, just a little bit. You don't want to fully cut it. You'll notice that the bone starts to roll naturally. If you keep cutting down the bottom of where that, thing, where that bone is rolling, you can eventually make a small cut on the stop. Here's your bone with almost no meat at all attached to it. Remove that and you will literally have a boneless thigh. That's the easiest way you can bone a thigh right there. All right. We've gotten here. We've removed the thighs and the legs. Let's talk about some wings. Let's make one cut back here behind the wing. You'll see that it naturally opens up. You can feel a joint inside when you cut towards the top. If you want just that wing, much like the thigh, pop that wing back. Notice where that wing breaks and remove it from the breast. Now you have a wing all the way through both joints. If you want to separate that spot, cut down this fat like always, crack this wing off from the drumette. You can feel that joint in there. You can see the joint pop. Get in between that joint, make one cut, and now you've separated the wing from what one would say the smallest drumette on the bird. You have a secondary drumette. This can also be deboned, or you can cook it just like this, like a drum. That is how you remove the wing and the shoulder drumette. Now we're going to move on. We're not going to go ahead and release this wing just yet. I'm going to show you guys the very first cut on the breast piece. We're going to remove just a traditional breast. There is a bone that runs dr directly down the middle. To remove each breast, you're going to cut all the way down each side of that bone. So to remove the right breast, you'll cut down the right side of that bone. To remove the left breast, guess what? the left side of that bone. You'll notice that it starts to naturally peel back. So we'll eventually have to remove it from that spot, cut down toward that basic skin. Be careful cutting it when you get to this middle end right here because there's a beautiful little tenderloin I'm going to show you in just a second that you want to make sure you keep. Here's the most difficult part of the entire breast. When you get to this spot, the wishbone is up here. We've already cracked through our wishbone right there. That means I'm going to get underneath this wishbone with my knife, make a small, small cut all the way to the base of the breast. And there's my wishbone. We've removed that. Now you're at the back end of the, the breast. Cut down the back end of the breast. Come down to the bottom. Remove that little layer of skin right here on the belly that you can notice right here. I remove this. Now we have a boneless. And if you want, you can remove the skin for a skinless chicken breast as well. Boneless and skinless chicken breast if you'd like. Or you can keep the skin on and sear this side. Be really, really beautiful. It gets nice and crispy. Okay. So now we notice we have one breast left, one wing. Let's go ahead and cut down the center line of that bone on this side of the breast. Bringing it all the way down to the base. Remember, be careful because you have that tenderloin in there. Now what we want to do for this one is we want to keep this breast and the wing attached to one another. You can move this up, cut down the entire breast cage right there. You'll notice you have the breast connected to the shoulder. Instead of cutting through last time like we did when we cut through that joint, we're going to cut underneath it to make sure that it stays in contact with that. You're going to notice here that there's a joint. Cut through that joint to remove them both. Once you remove that from the rest of the bird, you'll have this breast attached to the wing still. You'll also notice that when you flip it over, this 
has a beautiful little tender line that you can remove that and this can just be cut off or pulled off most of the time and look at that this is like a chicken tender perfection the tenderloin that lies with inside of that breast and i'm going to show you guys how to split this break it back cut down the joint there you go so we've then separated the breast from the wing portion this drumette now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to make one slice around the entire top cut down the side of the drumette all the way around it 360 degrees at the top next to the knuckle then you can scrape away as you go slice scrape away and you're going to do that literally the entire way around this little drumette once you're finished all the way around the drumette scrape this down to the last knuckle attached to the breast you'll leave a little piece of this bone sticking up and this is called an airline breast right here the display that you can can create using this style of breast cut is really fantastic check that out with a little drum head attached once you guys can master that, you'll really understand your way around a chicken. So last but not least, guys, we have only the carcass left. This isn't good for a whole ton, but what you can do with it is create a beautiful stock out of it. I'm going to put a how-to video out for next week on how to use this carcass to make your very own chicken stock. And that's it. Episode 4, Power oh, How to Cut a Chicken. Thank you guys so much for stopping in. Remember to like and comment below. I want to know if you guys have any questions or if you want to see something specific so I can make a video just for you. A new power-up video every Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Keep a Hawkeye out just in case I release bonus videos that aren't on my Tuesday's power-up how-to videos. Make sure you guys Hulk smash that subscribe button. Keep up to date with all the new things that I'm releasing every week. Until next week, bang, pow, you guys stay super.